welcome back to another episode of RJ3101 and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install fake anim on your Xbox 360 console so the console that I have do have a built-in memory so I'm going to basically do the advanced process so to get started um, you need to get the fake anim package so you can get this by just googling it or just go to the console mod website i think it's consolemod.org so you can go there and search up that package and you can download it so what i normally do with all my console once i download and extract the package i rename it to startup so if we go into the package you'll see you have your config file right there and you'll have your execution file and then junk box that's where your animation is so you only need one animation but you get a selection of three so you pick the one that you want and you either delete or remove the other three that being said we're going to go into this ini file and we're going to see what's in it so now we open this file. So this is the default setting that comes within the file. And you have to do your Dallin your calibration based on your console. So this will determine, you know, if your boot animation is cut off or if it's too long. So just follow um, these guidelines and you can do so. Um, what I use for mine is this setting so delay of 10 calibration zero and i've copied this across multiple of my console and it does work and most of my console are rgs3 if your console is rgs2 or jtag this value may not work if you have a fat console this value may not work but um most of my console are a slim version the trinity um so and this act setting actually work. And this is the default setting that you'll get with the package, delay 13, calibration one. All right. So we're gonna jump over to our console and get everything set up. All right, so now we're on our console. So what we need to do, we need to go to file manager. Now I've already transferred everything over to the console but i'm just going to walk through my procedure so file manager so here you have the onboard memory unit so what i did i transferred that startup folder over to that memory unit and you can see if i go in there you have the the config file you have the execution file or the plugin itself and you have the jukebox with the animation that will start up what i did instead of deleting the boot the original boot i transferred over to the root of the drive just for backup purposes that's what I did. Um, just in case I want to replace it or put things back to default less lightly, but I just have the backup right here. So once you have that section set up, we need to go into dash launch. So go into dash launch. And let's jump into that. So to get the fake animation set up, so you're going to path and you will scroll down all the way until you see your fake anim now you can see that my location is set to the memory unit and startup and the plugin so that's where it is so if i do go up here so you have your r drive with your memory unit Uh, that's where I actually go and set it and I put the folder there and I actually refer 
that file right there. And once you do that, you press your LB button and you're going to save on your hard drive it X. That's it in the save, and then you hit your B button. And if all goes well, you go back into Aurora. So to test if everything works, what we'll need to do, and what I failed to mention, to to locate your boot anim file, you normally find it in here. So this is where you're gonna actually pull the file from. So instead of deleting it, I just copied it and put it here. Right, so we can test the file that we put in and we do a reboot. And if all goes well, you should see the boot animation comes up and it will load right into Aurora itself. Here we go. Now, if you have any questions or comments, you know, you can leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer any question or any concern you have before diving into this advanced process. So, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the other one.